for industry and for those that have farmed the land for a long time. I commend this bill to the House. Mr Speaker, I rise in support of this Thames District Council uh, Waimea Water Augmentation Scheme Bill in its second reading. I'd just like to, note, actually, I'd like to um, thank and congratulate fellow members on the Governance and Administration Committee for their, uh, their very readily agreement to travel to Richmond to hear directly from local people uh, their views on the bill. Most people, uh, we are aware, are supportive of the scheme, uh, but it also gave an opportunity for those that are less favourable to it to have their voices heard as well. Uh, and we chose, as we have done several times, we chose to not only hear submissions in the provinces, but also to do so on a non-sitting day. And I'd just like to, to, by way of quick reference, thank the Business Committee uh, for on another occasion recognising the work that our committee is doing and permitting us to attend another part, a hearing in another part of New Zealand on a sitting day. I think this approach we have been taking uh, really does open democracy up to New Zealanders right across the country and where we have visited other places, Richmond being the case in point here, but also Thames, Coromandel and also Gore recently, uh, we have been warmly welcomed and it's been very clear from those submitters that they appreciate Parliament travelling to give them a local voice. Uh, this scheme is a very pragmatic and sensible scheme for the area. It's one that will provide security of supply for urban water users as well as principally horticulturalists uh, in the area. Uh, as other members have said, it's a way to address uh, possible risks of nature by ensuring that uh, in times of need there is still plenty of water, not only to produce, uh, obviously, uh, for the local economy from the land, but also to make sure that urban users also have the supply they need. And along the way and along with that, it will also help improve uh, the quality of the river. So it's a situation where, uh, in almost every respect, one would argue that everyone wins. And in fact, on a small uh, but still related piece to that, the commitment the Council has made to working to give public access to land around the dam and indeed access to that, uh, it also goes some way, or a very good way, uh, to making sure that those that wish to use the conservation land in the area around the proposed dam, that they have freedom of access to enjoy nature uh, and to recreate the way that they wished it. So the, the process itself was hugely uh, beneficial and enjoyable for the committee members. I, I trust, I hope, that those members of the public that chose to submit enrichment uh, also got something useful from the process. I'm absolutely convinced uh, that residents of Nelson and Tasman will definitely benefit from this dam uh, when it is implemented and in action, and I commend this bill to the House. Mr Speaker. Mark Patterson. Oh, this will be ah, Mr Speaker, um, it is a pleasure to rise on.